talking about the big story, ISRO's launch. ISRO LVM3 is going to be launched later today. Let's take a look at some of the reactions we're tracking from our uh, reporter Srishti. The Indian Space Research Organization is returning to the launch pad to lift off its next communication satellite. It weighs about 4,000 kgs and is probably the heaviest communication satellite to be launched from the Indian soil into the geosynchronous transfer orbit. Now, this mission is uh, expected to take off from the second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, precisely at 5.26 p.m. on 2nd November. Now, once the rocket lifts off from Sri Harikota, it will take about 15 to 16 minutes minutes for the satellite to get separated and get injected into the precise orbit. But what makes this mission far more special is that it marks the return of LVM Mark III. Yes, LVM Mark III is the rocket which was last used for Chandrayaan-3, the historic mission which made India the first country in the world to land near the South Pole of the Moon and also the fourth country to land on the Moon. Now, this is the fifth operational flight of LVM Mark III, a rocket which was basically designed to lift off uh, heavy uh, satellites into orbit. Now, meanwhile, the space agency is also preparing for its uh, uh, another ambitious mission, Gaganyaan, wherein also LVM Mark III would be used. But then the LVM Mark III would be human rated because it's going to carry astronauts into the uh, low Earth orbit and bring them safely back to Earth. Uh, Gaganyaan, the first uncrewed test flight of Gaganyaan, was expected to take off later this year but could be pushed to early next year depending upon how the preparations really go. Remember, Gaganyaan is India's ambitious space program wherein it plans to take its astronauts to the low earth orbit for the very first time and bring them safely back to earth. Now uh, the mission this Sunday also marks ISRO's return to the launch pad after a considerable period of time. Remember the last mission that happened was a collaboration between ISRO and NASA that was NISA which wherein we flew one of the most uh, extensive radar satellites into orbit. Now NISA has already started collecting data and relaying back to earth which is of tremendous value to scientists and researchers uh, across the world who are observing Earth. So as of now, we are waiting for this next mission to take off.